probably heard the old saying, behind every great man is a great woman. But that statement has never been truer than when you open up the Bible. Whether it was Moses' mother Jochebed, Samuel's mother Hannah, or Jesus' mother Mary, you can see how God uses mothers to raise up the next generation of believers. They help us better understand God's covenant love, His compassion, His discipline, His patience, and His long-suffering. And in Timothy, we find an interesting statement that Paul makes about a mother and grandmother while addressing Timothy. I am reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded now lives in you also. Christian moms everywhere should be encouraged by this example of Lois and Eunice, who raised Timothy to be a good man, full of the Holy Spirit. We know that Timothy turned out well because Paul's letter set him apart as an important minister in the early church. The example of Eunice, Timothy's mother, is even more remarkable when you consider that Timothy's father was Greek and therefore grew up in a pagan culture. No doubt she must have diligently and deliberately communicated to Timothy the truth of the gospel and life in Christ in what would have been a difficult environment. Paul acknowledges how God was faithful to Timothy not only through his own ministry, but also through these women in his own family heritage. Paul wants Timothy to recognize this truth and to count on God to use him to pass on the truth of the gospel to others, even when there are obstacles in the way. This Mother's Day, I want you to think of those remarkable women who have made an impact on you by living out their faith in Christ. Let's remember especially to be thankful for those mothers who remind us of God's grace and faithfulness. I'm Joseph Tkach, speaking of life.